Hey, thanks for joining us again. It's two old guys discuss important stuff for old people with gray hair. Art, today is a bucket list. Now, I know you have a bucket list. Tell me about it. Well, first of all, I'm since I have a 25 year rolling plan, I don't really have a a a uh, a list where I kick the bucket. So I want to get that out of the way first. Okay. Uh, and uh, there was a great the bucket list, which which was a Jack Nicholson uh, movie with Morgan Freeman. Sure. Fabulous sure. movie. They they had a whole both of these guys thought they were terminally ill and they had this whole list of places they were going to go and right. check them off the bucket list. And they so they had the real the real bucket list that we talk about. I actually am living my bucket list. What we're doing here is is getting information out to people about uh, uh, having longer, healthier lives and enjoying life now that we're living longer as a, as a, a group of people. And uh, we've been doing this for the last four or five years, and I just absolutely sure. love it. But I do have one item that has been around since before we got this thing started, which was to write a book called Skinny Deeping. And okay, now I, I got to interrupt you. Yes. How important is this item? Because that's that's where we're going with this. Is do we do people really need a bucket list? You get to be sixty or so. Who knows how long you're going to live? When do you when do you build your bucket list, and how important is it to have it? You know, I guess that's an individual thing. Uh, uh, I've never I've just kept doing stuff, so I've never really had a list of things. But this is an item that has been something that I've been really wanting to do. I've come up with chapters for a book, and I actually came up with uh, uh, illustrations and other things, and they've been sitting around for about seven or eight years. And I really want to do it because it's it's something that I want to share with other people, which is basically don't judge people by how they look because lots of people walking around with things that we don't know about where they're overcoming yeah. things all the time and they're inspirational to me. And I'll give you yeah. an example, just one example of something that all of us can understand. We had a president who was in a wheelchair, FDR. Right. And he could, he had lots of money and he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to go through all the clumsy things that he had to do just to appear to be somewhat normal because being uh, handicapped as a, uh, a president was just not something people were going to buy. So he faked it for years and years and years, and it was right. very difficult. To me, somebody who does that, or like uh, uh, Senator Duckworth, who lost both her legs in uh, uh, Iraq or Afghanistan, and she sure. came back, and she's now a mom, she's been a senator, and she's overcome terrible, terrible, terrible uh, issues with uh, having to get around uh, uh, Hawkins. These are the kind of people that have inspired me and but I know ordinary people that uh, I've run across that I know their stories and I want to tell their stories. Okay, so so you've got a a, a goal. It's a goal, long term goal. You're actually working on it. That's your that's the item on your bucket list. I have to tell you that I think most people do not benefit from a bucket list. Mm. I think a lot of people feel more less like your book, which I think is a very noble and worthy cause. And you're working on it over seven or eight years so far. Who knows? Maybe it'll take another three or four before you ever get it done. Most people have a bucket list like, I don't know, I got to travel the world. I've got to see the pyramids. Mm -hmm. I, I think they put pressure on themselves to do something that may, may, really may not be important. Maybe a personal goal would be nice if you did it. But a bucket list should not be what drives us. I think... Your goal of writing a book that will help people, um, that's a good goal. I, I don't see that as the typical bucket list, like these guys wanted to parachute in the, in the movie. They wanted to parachute out of an airplane or something like that. Mm -hmm. To me, that's meaningless bucket list material. I think if you just have useful goals, like your book, that will keep you interested and alive. And that's what we ought to be looking and focusing on in our later years. And you and I have Celebrating Act Two. Mm -hmm. I think that's a worthy cause, trying to help people, other seniors navigate their 
second half of their life. But the the typical bucket list, I don't know. It 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 smacks of um, artificiality, and it's not doesn't seem very important to me. So I'm I'm kind of a anti bucket list guy, if you will. Boy, are you, you are really a, a bucket downer. Wow, <laughs> actually, so my I, bucket is half empty. I I. I and to me, my bucket's always full because it's a half, half water, let's say, and half air. So it's always full. It's got something in there for everybody. But I would suggest that if you uh, have a bucket list or there are things you'd like to do and you write them down, you've got a better chance of actually doing them than not doing them. For instance, a long time ago, and this is why I don't have a bucket list, I had things on it like the pyramids because I had not seen the pyramids and the uh, Great Wall of China. Uh, and sort of the only travel place that's still on my, my bucket list, if you will, is New Zealand. But it's not a high priority. Maybe it will happen someday, maybe it won't. But I don't want to discourage anybody from having a bucket list or looking up. And there is a whole bunch of websites around that will help you figure out things you might want to add to a bucket okay. list if you've never thought of it. That's so, very true. There's always something on the Internet that can inspire you to do something useless. But that's not true. But I think that the word I think we should leave everybody with is before you kick the bucket, do the things that will make you happy. And do the things I think that will be useful, useful for others. That's that's the lesson for me. Is, is a bucket list is a very personal, gee, I'd love, always wanted to go here and do that. You know what? That's fine. But I think to enjoy life, to make your life meaningful, you have to be doing something that's useful. So uh, I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to finish uh, this episode with it may not be just another drop in the bucket. Amen. Amen. Well, anyway, before we kick the bucket, let's stay happy, stay involved, and stay useful. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.